జనరల్ నాలెడ్జ్ లో మన విజ్ఞానాన్ని మరింత పెంచేందుకు టీసాట్ ప్రత్యేక కార్యక్రమం చేపట్టింది పలు అంశాలపై మనకున్న తెలివితేటల్ని పరీక్షించుకోవడం తెలియని అంశాలపై అవగాహన పెంచుకునేందుకు ఈ కార్యక్రమం రూపకల్పన చేసింది ఈ ప్రత్యేక క్విజ్ కార్యక్రమంలో మీరు పాల్గొనాలనుకుంటున్నారా మీ విజ్ఞానాన్ని మా ద్వారా ప్రపంచానికి పంచాలనుకుంటున్నారా అయితే మీ ప్రశ్నలు మరియు ఆప్షన్స్ మా టీసాట్ ఛానల్ పై నేరుగా సంధించండి లేదా ఈమెయిల్ కు పంపించగలరు ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ యాక్టివిస్ట్ స్టాండ్స్ ఫార్ మీ ద ట్రైబల్ రైట్స్ యాక్టివిస్ట్ హూ పాస్ అవే రీసెంట్లీ వాజ్ బుక్ అండ్ అవ్ విచ్ యాక్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ అన్లాఫుల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ప్రివెన్షన్ యాక్ట్ ఆప్షన్ బి ప్రివెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ టెర్రరిజం యాక్ట్ ఆప్షన్ సి టెర్రరిస్ట్ అండ్ డిస్ట్రప్టివ్ యాక్టివిస్ట్ యాక్ట్ ఆప్షన్ డి నన్ ఆఫ్ ది అబౌ టైమ్ స్టార్ట్స్ నౌ The correct answer is Option A Unlawful Activities Prevention Act Stands for me the Jesuit priest and tribal rights activist spent 9 months in custody after being booked under the UAPA Unlawful Activities Prevention Act is the primary counter terror law in India Though it was originally enacted in 1967 the law has undergone over 6 amendments the last one in 2019 Stans Fomi was among the 16 activists and lawyers booked and arrested for their alleged links to Maoists in connection with the Bhima Korigan violence. Second question is about health. As per data published by WHO and UNICEF, how many children have missed out their routine immunization in the year 2020? Option A, 3 million children. Option B, 23 million children. Option C, 80 million children. Option D, 100 million children. Your time starts now. The correct answer is option B 23 million children 23 million children missed out on basic vaccines through routine immunization services in 2020 3.7 million more than in 2019 according to official data published by WHO and UNICEF Third question is about law The union government has directed all the states to withdraw the cases registered under which act Option A Section 66A of the Information Technology Act Option B Section 4 of Banking Regulation Act Option C Section 21 of Transfer of Property Act Option D Section 24 of Indian Criminal Act Your time starts now The correct answer is Option A Section 66A of the Information Technology Act The union government has directed all the states and union territories to immediately withdraw the cases registered under the repealed section 66A of the Information Technology Act. This order from the central government has come days after the Supreme Court of India expressed its displeasure over continued prosecution under section 66A of the Information Technology Act which was earlier struck down by the Apex Court. Fourth question is about social media. Which country is said to create its own social media platform called Joga Jog? Option A Sri Lanka Option B India Option C Bangladesh Option D Nepal Your time starts now The correct answer is Option C Bangladesh Bangladesh is set to create its own social media platform called Joga Jog as an alternative to Facebook as per the country's Ministry for Information and Communication Technology. It is also set to create an app called Alapon for WhatsApp. Fifth question is about schemes. With reference to medical college admission, All India Quota scheme was introduced in which year? Option A 1975 Option B 1980 Option C 1986 Option D 1990 Your time starts now. The correct answer is option C, 1986. In 1986, All India Quota Scheme was introduced under the directions of Supreme Court. It was introduced with an aim to provide domicile-free merit-based opportunities to students from any states who aspire to study in medical college located in another state. Sixth question is about bills. The Lok Sabha passed a bill to merge three municipal corporations of which city into a single entity. Option A, Mumbai. Option B, Delhi. Option C, Kolkata. Option D, Chennai. Your time starts now. The correct answer is Option B, 
Delhi. The Parliament passed a bill to merge three municipal corporations of Delhi into a single entity. The Delhi Municipal Corporation Bill 2002 was passed in the Rajya Sabha with a voice vote after a reply by Home Minister Amit Shah. Seventh question is about public sector units. National Film Development Corporation is a public sector unit working under which ministry? Option A, Ministry of Communication. Option B, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Option C, Ministry of Tourism. Option D, Ministry of Culture. Your time starts now. The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. National Film Development Corporation of India is a PSU under the government of India's Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and is responsible for film finance, production and distribution. Eighth question is about religious sites. Umiya Mata Temple which was seen in the news recently is located in which state? Option A Punjab Option B Gujarat Option C Bihar Option D Assam Your time starts now The correct answer is Option B Gujarat Prime Minister Narendra Modi stated that the Umiya Mata Temple a religious site in Gujarat's Junagadh has now become a central focus for social consciousness He explained that the temple helps the underprivileged members of the community by providing free health treatment as well as religious and social activities Ninth question Which Indian armed force shot canister launched anti armor loiter munition systems Option A Indian Navy Option B Indian Air Force Option C Indian Army Option D Indian Coast Guard Your time starts now The correct answer is option C Indian Army The Indian Army is seeking additionally indigenously developed smart loiter munitions that can be employed along western and northern borders Loiter munitions are a mix of surface to surface missile and a drone Tenth question is about day importance What is the theme of the World Book and Copyright Day 2022? Option A Books are the new normal Option B Books the great friends Option C Read so you never feel low Option D Read never give up Your time starts now The correct answer is Option C Read so you never feel low The theme for World Book and Copyright Day 2022 is Read so you never feel low. World Book and Copyright Day are celebrated on April 23 to promote the enjoyment of books and reading. Audience question. What is the primary objective of Amrit Sarovar initiative which was seen in the news recently? Option A. Elimination of single use plastic. Option B. Rejuvenation of water bodies. Option C. Desalination of sea water. Option D. rain water harvesting answer will reveal in next episode mention your answer in comment section mi samadhanalanu mariyu mi abhiprayalanu comments roopamlo teliyajeyandi meeru tsat nunchi etuvanti karyakramalanu veekshinchalani anukuntunnaro ee krindi whatsapp number dwara mi sandeshalanu panchukogalaru whatsapp number 733 755 8051